Hi, my name is Lindsay Atkins and I am a poet and a recent MFA graduate from Stony Brook, Southampton. And I am here today to talk to you about poetry. So I love poetry because to me, it is the closest we can come to real magic. In poetry, everything can be something else. With words, we can turn a tree into a scary monster with many arms, or we can turn a field of flowers into a field of bright, smiling faces waiting to kiss us. As you can probably tell, I love writing about nature, but the possibilities are endless. And that is because poetry is all about metaphor. Comparisons between different things we might see or feel or taste or hear or touch. Don't groan. I'm not about to, you know, turn into your boring English teacher, I promise. But metaphor is where the magic happens. Because when we make those comparisons, we make connections. Connections between all living things, which is why it is so magical. And you can probably feel that magic when you read or hear a poem that you really like, you might go, oh, I had never thought of it like that. Or you might even get chills, right? Something like that. So how do you know that something is a poem? Well, as Emily Dickinson said, if I feel physically as if the top of my head were taken off, I know that is poetry. I'm sure you've heard plenty of teachers talk about rhyming or lines or stanzas and all of that too. And yes, poetry can have those things. But the most important thing is magic, that magic I was talking about, surprising someone, giving them chills, making them feel connected to other people. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to share a poem with you that I love that is called, where I'm From by George Ella Lyon. I am from clothespins, from Clorox and carbon tetrachloride. I am from the dirt under the back porch, black, glistening, it tasted like beets. I am from the forsythia bush, the Dutch elm, whose long gone limbs I remember as if they were my own. I am from fudge and eyeglasses, from Imogene and Alifair. I'm from the know-it-alls and the pass-it-ons, from perk up and pipe down. I'm from he restoreth my soul with cotton ball lamb and 10 verses I can say myself. I'm from Artemis and Billy's branch, fried corn and strong coffee, from the finger my grandfather lost to the auger, the eye my father shut to keep his sight. Under my bed was a dress box, spilling old pictures, a sift of lost faces to drift beneath my dreams. I am from those moments, snapped before I budded, leaf fall from the family tree. So I love this poem for a few reasons, but mostly because it brings the magic, just like we talked about. The poet could have just said, hi, I'm from Hackensack, New Jersey, or wherever, right? But he didn't. Instead, the poet says that they're from all sorts of things that aren't even places, right? Clothespins, fudge, fried corn, those aren't places. So how can you be from them? How can you be from fudge or fried corn? You can't, right? Wrong. Because this is a poem, and we are dealing with magic. Some other things about this poem is that it's a list poem, right? It lists things. Lists are just so great because we make them all the time, right? We've all made lists. We all know how to do this. A uh, Christmas list or a grocery list, lists of reasons why your parents should get you a dog, you know? Um, but sometimes in a poem, we can arrange things in a special order that might give each item on the list more importance. I also love the repetition in this poem. It repeats I am from over and over again, like the chorus of a song on the radio. So you start to expect it and maybe even get a little excited to hear it again. And there is a little bit of rhyming, right? Internal rhyme. Um, I believe it was sifted and drifted, right? You So you get some nice sounds in there. But the main thing that I love is this magic, this idea that we can be from 
things that aren't places. We can be from my grandfather's finger that he lost in a terrible accident, or we can be from fry corn or fudge. I think that's a really cool idea. So here's my challenge to you. I think you should write your own where I'm from poem. Think of things that are really specific to who you are. What makes you and your experience uniquely you? You might start out with a simple list where you can just jot down objects or memories or special songs or sounds. This is a really fun exercise and I think something great always comes out of it. Um, the author of the Where I'm From poem actually turned it into a whole nationwide project. You can go to IamFromProject.com and read lots of other Where I'm From poems by all sorts of people all across the country. It's a really great way to celebrate our differences and still stay connected, especially right now. And hey, you might even want to submit your poem to their project and see if it appears on their website. So um, that's my challenge to you to write your own where I'm from poem. And I even started one of my own that I think I'll share a little bit of with you because that's only fair, right? We're all putting our souls on the page. So this is mine, the start of mine. I am from use the side door from my father's one deaf ear, rock and spit face paint on my brother's cheeks, the sandbox shaped like a turtle, the glow of my mother's computer screen. I am from the Saturday mass singer and the way she hovered just above the note. I am from my grandmother's meat pies, not anyone else's, do you hear? I am from the ch, -ch, -ch of the sprinkler, from flavored lip gloss and roll on glitter, from the seat of a bike, no hands. I am from love letters stuffed in my sock drawer from Coke floats and no PG-13 movies before you're 13. I am from my mother's swing hip dance moves, from my grandfather's tackle box and his can of worms too. That's all I have so far, but I'm really loving writing this. Um, it's really cool to think about, you know, all these different objects and memories and people from my childhood. Um, and again, they're not places, right? I could have said, I'm from Western Massachusetts, yay, and be done with it. But that's not magic. That's not poetry. That's not what we're looking for, right? We, in poetry, can be from, you know, lip gloss. We can be from, you know, love letters stuffed in our sock drawer or things like that. So I want you to think like that and come up with your own Where I'm From poem, okay? Um, thank you so much for having me. And I hope that this was productive for you and fun and that you learned something.